Good afternoon, everyone. Alex has just made me a cup of tea and today we're going to be decluttering the whole house. When I say the whole house, I mean, we're gonna do our best to do as much as we can. Um, and starting with his wardrobe because it is so full of crap and not organized. There's just so many clothes Alex doesn't wear and every time I put clothes away, I'm a bit like, where do I even put it? Because I can't see through the amount of clothes in there. So we just need to pull everything out, realistically decide what clothes he does or doesn't wear and then put it all back in again. I desperately need to organize our spare bedroom because we have lots of things in there that are now moving into our garage, now it's finished. And I've got to sell some things and just sort that out. I also want to sort out my toiletries because my skincare routine recently, I finished lots of my toiletries and then I've just been using whatever was there. And I really want to go through and actually use the things that work well together and would make up a nice routine. And then what else do we want to declutter? Oh yeah, we also want to clear up a little bit outside because Alex is going to go to the dump. Um, so we're in a bit of a tight time frame. And I'm also going to tidy up the kitchen and just start the process of a bit of a spring clean. I know I've been doing that a lot on my channel recently, sort of showing all the sort of organising and sorting out. I did the fridge um, and I just want to continue that because we've had lots of renovations in the last year and it's had a knock on effect on the house. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of decluttering and sorting. It's going to be very, very satisfying. <laughs> so let's start with his wardrobe. What's the first thing we do, Al? Uh, what's the first rule? Yeah, looks good to me. No, what's the first thing that we do? Uh, have a sit down. No, <laughs> what's the first thing that we do? So we have to take everything out. Yeah! <laughs> but let's do it bit by bit, because otherwise we'll end up in a mess. So we'll start with taking the hanging stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Maybe pop them on that. So we've taken those out and I realised I hadn't actually shown you a bit of a before. So this is what it's looking like, lots of shoes, lots of things. It's all very disorganised in these drawers. No like order to it. Um, so hopefully it'll be much more neat and tidy in a minute. Been very successful this entire bin liner of stuff and this given that bin liner did have my brother-in-law's half of it is what was given to me to try on yeah but um it was all the wrong size half and half so yeah there was like loads of um tom stuff in there and then alex has actually decluttered a lot see that's all of tom's that's not alex's so he's actually decluttered loads and this is what it's like here Got our t-shirts, way less t-shirts, jumpers looking good, sports stuff and trunks looking good, and then trousers way better. And Alex, when he comes back, he's gonna try on these, and these are all bit in the maybe, and these are in the maybe, so half of those probably will stay and half of them will go. Very, very successful, well done. You were very decisive. Yeah, I guess some of it has been you know, it's like stuff we've done before when we've done this. Yeah, yeah. It's like, this is a maybe, and if I haven't worn it in six months, I'll get rid of it, and it's been like a year or two, so. Yeah. That's why it's good to regularly declutter, because then you notice patterns, and you think, well, the last two times I've meant to declutter this, and I've kept it, and I still haven't worn it, so I should declutter it now. I've just spotted something I just got delivered, which is super exciting, and I haven't opened it yet, so I'll open it with you. This is a little package from Nord Green. This is a new watch. I don't have a watch to wear outside of wearing a smartwatch and this was so important because I countless times am going out in the evenings or when we went to the wedding recently, I wanted to wear a watch but I didn't want to wear a smartwatch. Um, I wanted to wear a more like a fashion watch. 
something that looks really pretty. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. So Nord Green reached out to me and they said to me, do you want to try our watch? Um, tell us what you think. And I said, definitely, because I looked at their company and it just sounded everything that I really, really adore. So I'm gonna unbox this with you and show you what it looks like on. So it comes like this, very minimal packaging, which I appreciate. Came in this really small box and no excess packaging. And I always, ooh, I always think of, um, I always consider that whenever I receive packages because you do sometimes get unnecessary packaging. This is the box here that it came in. So really neat. Um, and I got this watch. And then I also got a vegan leather strap. So I'm gonna take this out and give it a try. So this is the Philosopher 5 Link watch and it's gold because all my jewelry is gold. I just thought this was so classic and all of their designs are very classic, which is also important when it comes to shopping sustainably, is shopping for classic, what's classic to you? Like obviously classic is different for everyone. Someone's classic might be neutrals, someone's classic might be patterns and bright colors, but I really liked that Nord Green's style, because they're Scandinavian, their classic designs are very fitting for my style and the styles that I really, really love. It's really nice and weighty, so I can tell it's a good quality watch. And then I went for this kind of, well, this philosopher watch has this face, which I just think is very, like I said, classic, very simple. I will peel this off you because it's very satisfying. It's got a really nice, simple design to it, which I really like. I haven't had a nice gold watch like this since I was like maybe 20 because I, I lost my watch. I think I got it for my 18th birthday or something like that and I lost it and I feel so horrendous. So this is what it looks like on. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. It's also got a little, um, it's got a little number in there so you know what the date is. Is that the right time? That is not the right time. I'm gonna set the time in a second. I'm gonna have to take a couple links out but I think my mum has a kit to do that or I can just take that into a jeweler's and get that done. But I just love the gold colour. It's just a very true gold because you never know. Sometimes gold is too yellow or not gold enough and I just really like this. And I just think that's absolutely beautiful. So if I'm going out in the evenings I don't, and I don't want to wear a smartwatch then I can put this on and feel very classic. I just absolutely love it. This is gonna be my new favorite thing. Also Nord Green sell straps and they have vegan leather straps, which is really important to me because they are that is hard to come by. And I have been on the hunt for a watch for quite some time and struggled to find that option. According to their website, it's very easy to swap the straps. So I think it's got these little buttons inside that you press or you move so yeah, it's really easy. So basically it's got these little, um, these little things inside there, which you just squeeze and then it comes off. So that's very easy. I don't have to like do anything crazy to change the straps. This means if I'm wearing a more casual outfit, like I could imagine wearing this in the summer months if I was on holiday or if I was wearing brown leather, vegan leather. Um, I've got a brown leather backpack that would work really well. So then we've got a second watch and I just think that that idea, I mean, I don't know if there are other brands that do this, but I personally haven't seen it. And this is it with the strap. I think that's so nice. Really soft vegan leather as well. It's not the stiff vegan leather that's really plasticky. It feels like normal leather and then it's got really soft almost suede-like feel on the other side. And I'm just over the moon. Um, I nearly went for black, but I thought actually my clothes I wear most would suit brown better, just generally. Um, and I see black as a bit more formal, so I thought the gold was more of a, if I'm gonna be dressing up, and I feel like brown is quite suitable for casual outfits. Like in the summer, if I was wearing like a white dress, I'm over the moon, I just think they're beautiful. The cool thing about Nord Green that drew, drew me to them uh, when they reached out was because every watch sold, they contribute to NGOs and charities. They even encourage their customers to pick the charities that they would like to donate to. Or if you don't wanna pick, they, they contribute with every 
watch sale which is really really awesome and they're just very mindful of their practices so they obviously design their watches to last that's in mind when they design them they are classic watches all of their packaging is recycled or recyclable and made from recycled plastic and um, fsc certified paper so down to the finer details they are conscious and aware of their impact as a company which is obviously always a ticking box for me and it is always something I'm mindful of when I'm shopping and I want to share with you brands that are mindful of this when I'm recommending them to you as well. So if you really like this watch then I'll leave a link to it down below in the description and you get 15% off with the code MADELINE. I'll show you actually on screen here what I would wear each strap as an outfit with because I'm aware that I'm literally just in my gym clothes and I wouldn't wear it with this jumper so I want to show you what I would wear each watch strap with and what I would pair with the trousers and the or the dress or the shoes that kind of thing discount there is also free worldwide delivery and returns which is awesome also all of their watches are made in a danish owned factory in china so they meet danish labor standards which is really important just because something's made in a different country doesn't mean that's a bad thing it's just whether that factory in question is traceable and trackable and you can see what labor standards they have and this one in particular they detail on their website as well so for example this manufacturer has a labor union an internal employees suggestion box that's handled by the hr with the purpose of gathering and finding solutions for incoming suggestions they follow the rules and regulations according to the government labor laws each employer has paid vacation the employees are paid monthly wages that are slightly higher than the industry standard overtime wages to the employees follow the government labor laws and they just have lots of details. You can even click and read more about their code of conduct. So I'm just very impressed by them as a brand, their contribution to minimalist design and ethics. And I'm in love with my new watch. So yeah, definitely check it out. I've got a discount code, Madeline. I'll leave that below. And I'm gonna get doing some more decluttering. I'm gonna take my watch off though, because it feels very special. I'm definitely gonna treat this like a piece of jewelry and wear this for special occasions and when I'm going out because I don't want to ruin it because it's so beautiful. The next thing that I am in desperate, dire need of decluttering is this drawer. This is my underwear, socks. Did you hear both my knees click then? These are my underwear, socks, reusable pads, tights. Everything is in this drawer and it is such a mess. It used to be like underwear, bras, socks, tights, and it used to be so well organized. I don't want my reusable pads in here because I forget about them and I can't find them. So I want those in the, in the bathroom. And yeah, I just need to take everything out and reorganize it. And then I also need to do like a shop for some new socks and underwear and stuff because I am running low. So that's the next step. I'm literally gonna pour all of this onto the bed and put Married at First Sight Australia on in the background and work my way through it. <laughs> oh, also the drawer below, because I did do a declutter of my wardrobe. This is my pajama drawer and it should be fine. I just need to organize it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I did my whole wardrobe except these two drawers, so. That's the job. This is so much better. We've got socks. I tried to keep them in kind of like categories of socks, but I think that's not gonna last. I really ought to get some of those. You can get these um, like extendable like bamboo dividers that um, fit to the drawer. So I'm thinking of getting some for this drawer because then I can have socks and then underwear and bras. Um, so here's my 
underwear, bras, I love that I'm showing this on the internet. There's definitely loads in the wash right now. Um, I feel like that's always the case with underwear and bras and stuff because you're always wearing them. So they're, they're always on a cycle. So this is looking kind of empty. Um, and then down here, we've got pajamas. Again, I've tried to group things. We've got kind of the sets that I have. These are bottoms and then these are like nighties and tops. So I'm really happy with that. And now I'm going to do the bathroom. This is something that's been bothering me for a really long time because every time I open up the drawers underneath the sink, it's just such a mess. So I'm basically gonna sit on the bathroom floor. I might bring it in here. I'll, I'll see how I feel because that's a bit more comfortable. And I need to just basically go through all of the um, baskets and decide what I'm actually gonna use because I don't actually go into those baskets that often. And I feel like some of that stuff is PR that I really should pass on to friends and family who would actually use them. So that's what I wanna do. And I'd rather have those baskets be much more empty so I can see what's in there and then I can like rotate my skincare and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. And I haven't actually done this, literally, I don't think I've done this since I've moved into this house. So it's been a while. So it's this cupboard under here. I've got these wicker baskets and you can already see how messy it is. So this is my hair one. This is probably the one I use the most, but there's just so much hair product. Um, I'm gonna start with these two, I think. This is my skincare PR, which is just ridiculous. I also have another drawer in the other room. My um, sister and mum went through it recently, so they basically emptied half of it, which made me so happy because then they had loads of lovely things that they could use. This one was always intended as the basket of skincare that I wanted to use next. So I think that I'm going to do the hair one quickly and then I'm gonna bring this and the drawer in there and rotate it so that this is actually the skincare that I want to use next and then consider donating other things, etc. So gonna do it like that. Whilst I'm going through this drawer, I thought I may as well show you some of the things that I've actually been really liking and using constantly. So my hairdresser recommended these to me. This is the Olaplex, Olaplex number three. So this is the, I use this basically and alternate it with a deep conditioning mask. So one week I'll do this. I don't do it every fortnight though, because I do forget, because this is the sort of one that you have to put on tamp, tamp, damp towel dry hair and then um, wash it off afterwards, which is obviously not the most convenient because you want to leave it on. This says to leave it on for 10 minutes, a minimum of 10 minutes. My hairdresser said it's a really good thing to just leave on overnight. I'm going to use this this evening. So what I usually do when I have a routine is I have a bath and I put this on, I put my hair in a bun, I go to the gym in the morning and then I wash it off in the morning. Um, and that means it's been on all night. Or if I don't have time, I'll do it in the bath and I'll like wash my hair afterwards. But yeah, really love this. You don't need much at all. It's lasted me a really long time. And this is just really great if you're um, dyeing your hair or you need to strengthen it. It's basically like a, a hair perfecter. Is it like a, it's a bond builder, that's it. And then this one is something that I just use for styling. Um, this is kind of like a little leave-in cream. Um, this is the number six bond smoother. And I use that every time I get out of the shower. It's just really good to just smooth your hair out. I've also been using the Wave Hello um, Naughty T Taming Cream, uh, Curl Defining. I use this as well as this, um, or I'll use one or the other. I really like this, it's nice. It's not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing in the world. I do like it, I definitely do like it, but it's not something I'd be like, oh my gosh, you have to buy this. It's it's really nice and it's really affordable. I actually really love, appreciate the Naughty is cruelty free vegan it's got no parabens no sulfates no silicones and it's natural and um this plastic bottle is made partly from sugarcane so yeah it's there's loads of good things about it and it's really affordable so if it, i do actually use this every time i wash my hair so if you're looking for something that's affordable because some of the ones i did use to use are much more expensive this is a leave-in conditioner this is the sort of thing that i would use um the other week when i wasn't um no this is leave-in conditioner no, ignore me. I actually haven't been using this very much. Oh, I know what I use this for. So I've got a little spray bottle that I have to refresh my hair and I'll put this in with the spray bottle um, and it just smells like heaven on earth. This is Umberto Giannini, it smells like bananas. I love banana smells. And I just spray my hair and it means my hair always smells so lovely and then it just refreshes it for the day. 
So I'm gonna keep these here. I'm actually, I'm gonna keep these out because they're in a basket, which is kind of annoying and I kind of want them in the cupboard. But my cupboard is so filled with skincare that I don't have room. So I'm gonna try and make room because I do use those every week. This I'm gonna put in a shower. This is a scalp scrub, but it's not gonna get used unless in the shower. This is the Rhyme and Reason Quench and Curl Leave-In Conditioner. This I don't think is the most suitable for my haircut kind because my hair is more wavy. It's not um, like really curly. This is for coily, curly and textured hair. So um, this I found a bit heavy for my hair types. If you have got coily, curly or textured hair, this would probably be great because again, these are vegan, natural, made from recycled plastic, sustainable really awesome brand rhyme and reason like so good and i've used some of their other products that were a bit more suited to my hair type um but i haven't really used much of this i think what i'll do is i'll probably put this in um again i'll probably put this in my spray bottle with water so it's diluted down once i finish this one and then this eco gel this was a gel that i bought in the supermarket because i've heard about it and i was like running out and i was desperate um i do like it again it's not something that i'd be like oh my gosh it's the most amazing thing in the world i think that again for my hair type i prefer mousse or different types of gels uh, the uh what's it called bounce curl gel is the best gel on planet earth and i love it but it's a really great one to just get because it's so cheap and it's you know so simple it's just argan oil um argan oil kernel oil glycerin like it's really good for your hair like it's a good good affordable gel and i probably in the future will always have this in my cupboard just because it's always there and if i don't want it if i'm not like doing anything in particular then it's a cheaper alternative than using a bounce curl which is really expensive so yeah and that's actually way better there was lots of stuff in there that definitely didn't need to go in there what's this yeah there's like a cleansing bar in there and there was some squalane oil so that's gonna go back. And now I'm gonna take this into the bedroom. In fact, I'm even gonna take all of the skincare in my cupboard, take it into the bedroom and just work my way through it. This is probably gonna take me like an hour. Boy, do we have a lot to go through. Oh my gosh. I know that lots of you are gonna jump on the opportunity to criticize me and to tell me I'm unsustainable and I have so much stuff and I'm a horrible person as a result. But to be honest with you, I'm sure lots of you aren't on this side of the camera. Um, and any of you who are and have experience in this industry know that this is just how it is. Um, and as someone who's not even a beauty blogger or a fashion blogger, I dread to think the vast quantities of stuff that they get sent um, against their knowledge because a lot of the time you get sent this stuff without anyone telling you it's part of their job and I think that lots of people forget to remember that before influencers <laughs> there were PR um, companies and journalists who would receive this amount of product to their companies or just to their houses to themselves all the time and then they'd write about it in magazines you know they had um cupboards and rooms full of this stuff and it is part of it and someone actually said that to me in a previous video they said don't beat yourself up too much about all the PR you receive because part I mean I mean they were just kind of reaffirming what what it is that I do they said it is your job to share and filter through sustainable brands and vegan brands cruelty free brands natural brands and share them with your audience so I'm not uh person who just uses skincare for me I use and receive skincare to share with my audience and also to work with companies as a part of my job and how I make money and how I pay my bills so um this is obviously not a normal representation anyone watching this would think why is she decluttering all this stuff I didn't buy this stuff um I don't buy skincare anymore which is an incredible privilege and I'm so lucky and it, I pinch myself because all this stuff is so amazing and all these brands are, I just love all of them and there are so many incredible new brands popping up all the time who make sustainable products um, and vegan products and cruelty free products and I'm so so lucky that they love to send this stuff to me but please don't look at this as like a normal example of decluttering skincare. If you ever watch any influencer 
show their skincare or makeup collection don't get jealous or or don't 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 think that it's normal because it is so beyond the realms of normal it's madness to be honest and it's something that still shocks me <laughs> i still get shocked that people want to send me this stuff and and the the amounts that i get sent um and i've talked about it so many times i'm not gonna go on about it but um i'm definitely trying harder not to um receive as much because it's getting out of control so with that said let's go through it and um please appreciate my vulnerability in showing this to you because a lot of people wouldn't and i don't want to hear it <laughs> to be completely honest with you 90% of you though 99% of you are so lovely and I love you and you're so nice and you're so understanding but just don't be that person to go on and say oh my god you've got so much stuff or whatever because I'm just it's not yeah it's not this is not a normal representation and I am also a sucker for skincare and stuff and I love it and I find it very difficult to say no sometimes you know if um bare minerals or biosense or Sukin or Upcycle, Upcircle or Holland and Barrett want to send me stuff. I love their stuff so much that I'm like, yes, please. I would love to receive your stuff because I love your stuff. <laughs> and it means I don't have to buy it. So yeah, just think of that. I think if you think basically think if you were me, what would you do? Because I think most people would say yes to a lot of things that they love. Um, and I'm working on it. Anyway, that is a huge ramble that was not needed. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get decluttering and I'll show you what it's like afterwards. So hopefully we'll have a much more order in all of this skincare. finally done that was absolutely exhausting <laughs> let me show you the results because it's very satisfying so looks much tidier in here and we have all of our baskets full of our stuff this one is the hair one we've got um all the hair stuff i mentioned before some shampoo bars the Davinas hair mask and then in the middle i've got these here because they don't really alex likes using these but they don't really fit in the um medicine cabinet and then back there there's like a little um bowl of like uh nail clippers that kind of thing razor and then these little facial things and a razor in here we have got basically all the body and bath stuff so like body shop moisturizers um soaps basically that kind of thing and that's kind of it really bath and soap and a bit of oil i think in this one we've got like practical things this is my bag with my reusable pads and then i've got these amazing bu monthly patches i use these on my period i've got this um typology it's some reusable facial um what you call it cotton pads um and i've saved these because these can be for traveling we've got um toothpaste stuff so this is called mouthwash got toothbrushes that kind of stuff razors just kind of like all this sort of practical stuff and then they've got this little bag with some things to tie your hair back so that's going in there and then this one's the biggest achievement it doesn't look like it is an achievement but i basically condensed this container and that entire drawer just into here and this is now all of my skincare including the skincare in the cupboard which is just so much better. It's still a lot. What can I do? I can't really do much about it. And I tried to organize it into sections. We've kind of got like toners and exfoliants. I've got some masks, cleansers, moisturizers, and then serums and oils. And so when I come in here, basically when I run out of stuff, I can have a little dig and try some new things out. So that makes me very happy. Then in here, 
I've got a lot more skincare basically in the cupboard and I think that's going to be my um, tactic so that I actually use it because otherwise I stick to the same thing and I don't use the products that are suitable for what's going on with my skin at the time. Like at the minute I've actually been breaking out a little bit, like I've got a breakout here, 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 here. Usually I only have breakouts when I'm on my period or before my period and I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's definitely not um, diet or stress or anything like that because that's all been consistent and very like I'm feeling really good. It must be something that I'm using that I, is not agreeing with my skin or it's maybe because I often sleep on my cuddly toy and I'm wondering, but I don't really sleep on that side on it. It's, I think it's my instinct is that it's something that I've been using. So I'm gonna try and isolate what it is and um, swap my skincare basically a little bit and try and just figure it out while I'm like using my skincare because I feel like I've got all this skincare and I just use the same thing every day and then you finish it up and then swap to something new. Whereas it would be better to have options for different products to meet my skin's needs. So here's my cleansers. I've been using this um, Skin Ingredients cleanser, which is like a milky kind of creamy cleanser that blends, you sort of mix it in. Um, but I've got this Inky List one because I think this is a bit more of a um, gel kind of one. And then I've got an oil, cleansing oil, and this for makeup remover. So it's kind of like two options. I use these ones first and then these ones second as my second cleanse. Um, I've got my glow tonic, this is all personalised which is lovely and then I've got some mists, so these are kind of like the toners, that kind of thing which I love, I can't get enough of mists and toners. And then we've got all these serums, so we've got some Sukin, Biosense, this vitamin C dark spot serum is a holy grail vitamin C serum. This Osea Sea Glow Overnight Serum which again is one of my absolute favourites, it's so lovely to use overnight and it just clears your skin it's amazing and then we've got these skin ingredients um skin veg and vitamin a and c i haven't used the number two as much oh i've just realized i was really not showing you on on the camera i apologize um yeah <laughs> so we've got the oc of the biosense we've got this skin ingredients number two and number three i haven't used number two much at all um but i want to give that a go and then i've got another osea um hyaluronic c serum and then this biosense um resurfacing night serum the one thing i need to stock up on is retinol so if you have a recommendation for a retinol that you love, then please let me know in the comments down below. I was using, I'll put it on screen because I've forgotten, but um, that one was lovely, but I need to stock up on a retinol. And also let me know, because I'm always unsure about this kind of thing. Like I'm assuming it's not recommended to use this kind of stuff on top of a retinol because that's kind of intense. I'm, that's my instinct anyway. Um, and then down here we've got moisturizers. So I've got Sukin and Typology moisturizer. And I've got some Botanic, some Sukin, and some herbivore facial oils. And then we've got the Biosense um, Repair Cream and then this Upcircle Eye Cream. And then this is the Skin Ingredients SPF 50. I love this SPF because it's like almost like makeup. It comes out like a colored um, uh, SPF. So it's not really white and it blends in beautifully. And I just think it's amazing. Um, and then I've got some body oil and the Osea body butter. And then here we've got uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant. That probably most of the time lives down here, but I've shoved it in here for now. And then I've got Alex's bits at the top because he's a boy. He's only actually got this much stuff because I pass it on to him. Like he absolutely adores the Biosense Amiga Repair Cream. It's like a holy grail product for him. I, it's too much for my skin because I've got oily skin. Um, it's too moisturising. I tend to go for the lighter moisturisers. So yeah, it's looking way neater and it means I've just got like a lovely array of skincare to choose from. And I obviously wouldn't have this much skincare if I wasn't sent it, but it is like a huge pleasure in my life now, skincare. Just it means so much to me every day and it just, it makes me really happy like pampering my skin and I don't know, it's become a bit of a, not a hobby, but it's become a bit of a, a self-care like proper routine in my life like just as much as like something like the gym skincare is just it just makes me feel amazing so yeah hopefully i can figure out this situation with my skin and why i'm breaking out because there's just lots of spots all over my face can you see because i'm not wearing makeup there's just lots of spots even on my nose here which gives me the the indication that it's something i'm putting on my skin because it seems to be all over my skin so hopefully i figure that one out um, but yeah, I think I'm going to finish the video here. Um, I'll probably do a part two. So this will be part one because I had so many more ambitions for how much I wanted to declutter today. 
I'm so happy we did Alex's wardrobe and the toiletries and my chest of drawers and that was a lot but there's so many other parts of the house that I want to do so we will reconvene with this in another video and don't forget to check out Nord Green and the 15% discount code Madeline. I'll leave that link down below for you and thanks again to them for sponsoring and I'll see you in my next video. I'm going to go and have a well-deserved dinner. <laughs>